block and restore much building mass too. And today. Right. Today we're building an ocean arm of some description. This is the best of QE2. I've done very little to no so I've just used the description and thought I'd have a rough idea in my head. Bro, I'm not even in the right place. I just realized I'm going to go right here because I want to build it in the smaller stuff. So. So, we'll build it in okay, that's awkward. Let's quickly buy the island. Um, we'll be building in one of these workbenches, so my other workbench is modded so that it's a lot bigger so they can make bigger boots, but we're going to make this one fairly compact grizzly games a little. So, where do we start? Um, I tried to line up so that anyone doesn't know what the QT is. There we go. That's the QE2. Which is quite a nice ship, as you can see. Uh, built in the 1950s or 60s. I really don't know a lot about this ship actually for building it. Construction started in 1965 and then launched in 1967. So, there's currently a hotel ship in Dubai, which is interesting. Um, she used to be Connard's flagship until 2003 when Queen Mary was built. You can't hear me over the music, because that's just great. Okay, I'll try and lower it. Is that low enough? Yeah, it'll do. So, that's the key too. And yeah, she's a, she's a hotel ship in Dubai currently, but in her heyday she was the <clears throat> she was the, um, the the flagship of Connard, so she would have been going across the Atlantic every week, pretty much. And then in her later years she was a cruise ship, but we're not going to build this obviously because it's three. 200 no, 294 meters so she's a big boat um so yeah we're not going to be building the whole thing just going to be building a, a sort of scaled version of it too of it so basically this is a 1.5 to 1 scale so 1.5 of these ships no that's not right three three to one scale so three of these ships equals one of the real ship so if we go back to that window and we'll just quickly grab some of the measurements. Uh, specs. Oh my god, it has its own website. That was pretty cool. Length 293 meters. So ours will be ours won't even be that big, I've just realized. Okay, so it's it's probably more like a five to one skill. Width 32 meters, ours will probably be 10. Draft 32 feet, so that's about 10 meters. Ours will probably be no bigger than five. Draft is how much of it is under the water, just for those unaware. Turn the music down a bit, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's my mic turned down as well, so that might've been what was going on as well. 75 ton rudder, that's impressive. Um, let's see, engine room. Okay, well, not worry about that yet. We'll start. We'll do. We'll start with the basics. So, ten meters wide. We're going for. So, what we'll do is we'll go out five meters from each side. Let's see what that gets. That's actually tiny, isn't it? Possibly too small. But I, I, it might not be because you wanted to kind of look longer. This game is pretty amazing. I think. I've 1900 hours in it, so yeah, I, I quite like it. Um, you don't need to build boats like I do, you can build helicopters, you can build planes, you can build trains, you can build cars or lorries or anything. Whatever you can make moves, you can build basically, and you can, you can build, build houses and stuff as well. Um, 
so let me just get my calculator. So 300 divided by 60 is five. Okay, so it is a five done scale. Let me guess on that. So this isn't exactly 60, but it's close enough. So we've got 28.25 meters that way, plus this one, so 28.5. And then across this way, we have 28.25 again. So that's, well, that way, that's. Fifty-six and a half, so fifty-six point seven five meters in, and then we'll just do the rest as a five-ton scale. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking about the hours. It's a bit. I worked at it once. It's like a hundred, no, not, maybe not a hundred. Um, it's, it's a lot of days, so I'll actually just do it now while I've got my calculator. Seventy-nine days. Yeah. Yeah, pre pretty much anything that has, anything you can build in blocks, basically. Like, I've, I've built a harbor before. So, we'll do, what, what height do we have to work with in here, actually? Ship can be up to 19 and a half meters tall. That is quite not a lot. Um, so, what we'll do, I think, is... Each deck will be two meters. So if we do the first, so that, that's the key. This is just a frame to kind of show us a template. Uh, each deck is two meters. That means these here are seven. So if we have the doors, just as a a guide almost. So there is two meters. So it's a door plus a block above it, just so you don't feel like cramped underneath. So we'll do two meters again, one out, and so we'll just do nine and then one out. See how many decks we get. If not, there's a good chance I may end up moving this to the bigger dock and then just making it three to one. It wouldn't be the first time I've made a rash decision like that. Uh, nine, and this looks like it'll be the last one here, but there won't be anything up here because this will be the funnel level. So. It'll be, if you look, if we go back to the other window, Arma 3, what's that one? I've heard of it, but I've never, never played of it. Uh, yeah, if you look at it, it's incredibly tall, the funnel. So, yeah, it takes up, there's the picture I was thinking of. It's not very high res, so you probably won't see it too well, but... Yeah, pretty big funnel, like half of the height of the ship is the funnel, or no, the ship is, the funnel is half the height of the ship, on top of the ship, basically, so yeah, it's a lot, let's see if I can find any good, that's a good side profile, so my thinking is maybe do this side here, so this black part here, so up to, up to that, line basically two decks and then three decks here and actually how many decks do we have just probably check that first so if we have below about here as the water level so that's three meters 2.75 meter draft and then that's our water line then then we'll have half a deck there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. A realism arm again. I'll have to look it up. Um. Right. So, do we want? See, I want this to look like the ship, but I don't want it to be too small. The reason I'm doing it in here is so that it doesn't get drastically way too big, like I've done before. Um, so overall we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decks. Right. So one and a half below deck and then two and a half are below the water. Two and a half above, and then 
It was eight, wasn't it? I'll draw this out in a wee piece of paper, actually. That will make it easier. Where is my whiteboard? Isn't much help to anyone watching this, but it just gives me a better idea of what I'm building. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight decks. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight decks worth of height. So halfway along there. Another two there. Right. So, three decks above the water maybe. So, we'll mark that out on the actual frame here. So, if that's our water line, then the next level will be up here. And that'll come out like that. And then that just gives us an idea of where we're going to. Now, is this going to be too narrow that it's going to tip over? Uh, there's a good chance it will. So how much is that? That's... Oh no, that's only one deck actually. TJ Schaefer, hello. Right, so that's, that's the height there actually. I'm actually going to turn that music down on my end and then turn it up again. That should be better now, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Judging by the levels, that's okay. So then we have the three decks on top of that. Sort of starting to think this might be a bit too narrow. Because the funnel is going to be, it's not going to be heavy, but it's going to be weight, which you don't want. The less weight you can have high up, the better, basically. Um, other alternative would maybe be to add a sort of bilge line. Yeah, we'll do that. That's a much better idea. So we ditch a bit of space, but we do get overall better kind of performance because we'll have tanks under here then. So if we have that three blocks actually we'll do four and then we can have a keel tunnel so basically there'll be wee hatches like this all the way along the keel of the boat and oh shit oh i forgot about that that's i always used to do that and i've done it again that's thanks for telling me so <laughs> um yeah where was i Keel tunnel there, and then do nine blocks there, and nine, and nine, and nine. That's one. I can't believe I did that again. I was streaming Stormworks like months ago, and I was building a different cruise ship, and I did that, and like an hour of the stream was on that and I only realised after because it was the last end, of, like it was towards the end of the stream and then I only realised when I was changing to the stream stream ending screen and I was raging right let's see how much is that then <clears throat> so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Right. So we'll change it so that, that is the level of the gunnel. So the gunnel is like the top of the the top of the hull, and then the superstructure kind of come together. And and where will the water line be? The water line will be here-ish, something like that. We'll go with that. Yeah, 
Okay, that seems good. So, now we start the shape of the hull. Which is not going to be too difficult, I hope. Um, majority of it will be flat bottom and then it'll curve out towards the edges. So I'll just clear my sort of task bar here. And we'll get all the different kind of curved pieces that we need. Is that one back to there so it's just in the right place? And uh, do we do this side as the wall or do we do the inner side of that? We'll do that, okay. Can we get some editing going? Okay, good luck with the editing. So we have, actually no, that needs to move back two more. Then one of them. Don't think we'll do the other part of it on this side. Okay, that's nice enough. And we'll get rid of that so we can see what we're doing a bit better. Then the builders will go across to there. What am I going to use to power this thing? Um, three, possibly. Big diesels. If I go back over to this window, hopefully I'll remember to change it back this time. Um, I'll try and find the picture of it out of the water. So I think it has four propellers. So... It would, I think, in real life, it's powered by three engines. Uh, see if any across the diesel electric system in 1986. Okay, that's when the new systems were put in. I think originally this was built as a, an oil. I don't know if that's right. Oil, yeah. It was just like heavy oil that it burnt for its engines. Um, but now. It is diesel electric engines. But that was many years ago, so I don't actually know if they're still in it. How many does it have? It doesn't actually. Where is it? Q2 engines. Nine diesel electric engines. Okay. It was slightly off by three. Uh, right, okay. Has two propellers. Thought it had four. Maybe that's the new one. So. The two propellers, I'll probably do two big engines and then one sort of central engine that will be for powering all the electrics on board and all that kind of stuff and also possibly act as a backup engine. But most likely it'll just be the two engines and then the generator in the middle. So, yeah. It'll sit about here, I think. If we start the curve of the hull back, then they'll kind of sit where the curve is, so there's as little space as possible between the engines and the propellers. So it's only the kind of last bit that it, they physically can't go anywhere nearer to it. And then that just means that there's less kind of space taken up by the engines. And what next then? We'll do the bow and then we'll kind of work the bow shape into the ship here. So QE2's bow is pretty interesting. It's a pretty kind of sharp bow. Uh, where's my phone? I'll get a picture so I can model it off that. QE2 bow. So because it's an ocean liner, Ocean liners are kind of famously very, very long bows. Um, so that when they're crossing the Atlantic or the Pacific or whatever ocean it is that they choose to cross. Any big waves, they can just kind of plow straight through 
or as a cruise ship would kind of be stuffing into them. They would kind of cut through them. Uh, right, okay, that's a good photo there. So the actual very front of the bow isn't too sharp. It's sharp enough, but it doesn't go way, way back. It just kind of dips down nicely, which will be easy to model, which is good. I'm not going to do this like for like, because obviously it's on a completely different scale to the real ship. Uh, does it? It does have a bulbous bow, doesn't it? So bulbous bow is basically like a a little bump. It looks like coming out underneath the underneath the main part of the bow, so it'll stick out kind of here. And in real life, it would be to it would be to push water aside, and it makes the bow way bigger. It basically, makes it more efficient. But it doesn't really work on this game. Well, it's, it's you can still use them, but it doesn't have the same effect. But we'll do it anyway. When you use, when you're going to use giant propellers or the little ones, we're going to use the large. No, yeah, giant propeller. So the biggest one we have available. So two of them, possibly four. I did a ship a while ago. Um, can I actually have a look at that ship? Let's do QE2. If I just teleport over to the other dock, then I can open the ship up and we can have a look at it. Because when I was building the ship, I was looking at pictures of it in real life and the QE2 just to kind of give a comparison. Because it's a very not similar ship, but it's a it's a similar style of ship. It's a, it's an ocean liner, so there there are certain things you can kind of go across between them but this one is a system where there's two propellers um, and then they rotate together off the same engine and it just doubles the output basically it takes a while to load because it's so big get all the um, morning triangles away now this will be 25 or 30 meters longer than the ship we're building at the moment so yeah, there's the double propellers. Obviously it doesn't look as good as it would in real life because it's not built to do this in real in the game. But yeah, just using that and then it kind of hides it and makes it look like they're just one part. Uh, so we might do that again, but we shouldn't need to, hopefully. That, that is the big propeller, isn't it? Maybe that's too big. If we're doing it to scale, then maybe we should make the propeller a bit smaller okay let's open up this one again we'll stay in this dock for now I think because we've got our restrictions so it should fit either way we're not going to be doing anything extravagant today we're probably just going to be only doing the bow and then the stern and bit the hull basically so we know, we know what length it has to be basically so bulbous bow on this kind of it's a bit weird looking so it goes flat and then comes back out. So yeah, it's really nothing much. Should I maybe do it like Hmm, which one's better? I think I prefer the other one where it's just kind of comes out nice and sharp. It's going to make absolutely no difference in the game either way, so we'll not worry about it too much for now. Just join that up with the rest of the hull. So, the bow of the Q2 is very narrow, so it kind of cuts through the waves nicely then. So we just need to find what the best kind of ship is for the front. Do we do these for a bit back or do we do a kind of, so you know what we'll do, we'll bring this all the way forward so that we can see how wide it can be, or how, how, how wide it needs to be. 
I'm thinking I can do one of them. And actually, no, we'll block it out first and then we'll cut out the blocks that we need to remove. So do it like this and then it kind of puts its way back, sort of. So that would go. Yeah, okay, that's right. And then one of them, and then one of them, and then a short one. And then a long one, and then a short one. And then a long one. Right, we'll fill this first bit in just to see how it looks. And that's not right. And if it looks alright, then we'll continue on this way. If not, we'll ditch it and try something else. really sharp enough is it so I'm kind of take it back like that maybe hmm hard to know uh, we'll do two of them we'll do one of them longer ones and then we'll go back to these and repeat the process basically so that's not going to be sharp enough when we come to doing the bottom bit of it and then we'll just have to risk it I think Then the first one looks the best, so was that when do you remember now? Um when it just came out like that, where it's kinda a bit sharper. Too much of a delay with these chats. Comes out, starts narrow, and then works its way out, maybe. That could work, actually. So we're going back at that kind of rate, and then another one of them. gradually add to this then so do three and then the next one will do four like this yeah okay guess we'll try that then hmm yeah okay So the next one we'll do will be we'll do a few more of these and then we'll go to the next side. Actually, no, we'll do these first and then that's the same length as four of them, isn't it? Is that four? Yep. And then we'll do the rest of it as them. So we'll fill in the Gaps accordingly. Hmm. I think that will do. Um, right. Next bit, which is going to be slightly more difficult, is angling everything. In. So we need one of them, one of them. Barat killer. 
Hello? Is that that same song? I think this song has been on already. One by four permits. And do it like that, kind of. No, it wasn't a song, actually. I was going to say, it's supposed to be shuffle blue. Uh, and we need one of them for there. And then number five. I'm not overly keen on that. But I don't really know what else would do that. Unless I moved everything forward by a couple of blocks. Although, looking at the photographs. Uh, might work. No, it wouldn't help, or it wouldn't hurt to try and move it forward by one, so we'll do another one of them. And then we'll get our selection grid, and we could all copy and paste. You know what? I'm glad I did that. That looks that looks all right now. Uh, we could actually even do rather than having them. Stop this. Let's give this a try. Yeah, it'll not be the most accurate or even good looking holes you'll see, but it'll do the job. So then try this. See, this could be where we start to kind of curve it back. So we need more of these. Well, let's pick one of them and we try something like that. Mm. We'll finish the bulbous by first because we can't really. That won't work. Okay, right, we'll do that again. We'll do one of these, yeah. That'll be better, I think. Actually, what we could do is one of them. Yeah, I think that should do. Just keep an eye on the chat. If you just don't like something I'm doing, or if I'm, if you can think of a better way to do something, let me know. I'll give it a go. Is that? And then do maybe. Ah, no. If I didn't, if I used. Oh, missed this one. And then did the. 2x2 two two inverse pyramid. Then what we could do is that one. 2x2, two two, that's what we need. So we've got one of them. Yeah. 
This this is why trial and error. Yeah. Okay, that'll do nicely. And match this as best we can to the top but not too close to the top because realistically it should be narrower down here than it is at the top so the top should kind of flail out a bit is that the right word flail probably not so the top should kind of curve out quicker than the bottom does that way when you're going through the waves you're literally piercing through them rather than slamming into them which was the whole design with these hulls back in the day. Can you build the engines using the custom engine blocks? I haven't even tried them yet actually. If that would be interesting to do on stream, I might try that. I'll have a go in between streams and then I'll let you know. But um, only thing would be then that we can't put it on the workshop, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, because like, we can wait and kind of perfect it over time, but um, yeah, I like other people being able to play with these as well. I think they need to add a an experimental branch to the workshop. And then that way people who have made stuff on experimental aren't kind of just stuck with a load of ships that are really cool. That they can do nothing with. And then that way they can kinda they can keep they can keep putting stuff out there. I think that'll be a good um Good idea. But maybe it's just too buggy. With the experimental everything's sort of brand new or in the process of being tested, so I'm sure there's some good reason as to why they haven't done it. Okay, this is where things get weird. That was a mistake. Uh That seems like a weird choice, but I'm kind of thinking if we do this outer one first. If I can find the block. Nope, I had the block already. I bring that in and then we can kind of look at what the curve of the hole will be. Ah, these as well. What do you mean people will not? Uh, I don't know. what well, if you're talking about the experimental I don't know what, what, what was I talking about that I said that because it was saying about like if if I was able to upload the experimental branch one so like if there was a separate experimental branch then I would try more stuff in the experimental but um, for now I like staying with the base game one because then you can, you can upload stuff and then other people can have a go with it and tell you what it's like why not build one using the regular engines? That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's do this one first and then do an engine refit. You could call it. Um, on experimental, yeah. That could be a good idea. Just realized that just doesn't line up at all. Which is just fantastic. What could I do about that? Uh, oh, that's so annoying. Um, I'd actually be tempted to lift everything up by one. And then have this as deck level rather than this. Ooh, I don't know. That's really annoying. We could, I suppose, do a different design here. So if I got rid of all these, and then we could do a different curve design. Uh, oops. I thought something in the chat come up there, but never mind. Um, 
do one slightly further up then. Do another step in the hole, maybe. Just for added, added stability, maybe. If that is a function of this game. So, or better looking would be to just use these rather than the one by two pyramids or one by two what they actually called wedge one by two wedge nice that will do i think and then we can kind of start to bend the front end towards the bow yeah okay we'll do that then Do we maybe do it like what could we do with that? This could end up looking really weird. But it could also end up looking really good. Continue that one in some kind of pattern, that could be good. Ah, that's bent further, so we need the one by or two by four pyramids. Only thing is these different edges and stuff that I'm making now in this process will slightly limit us in terms of speed, but I think with the ship we're going with looks over the speed. Obviously it, in real life it's, uh, does it hold the blue ribbon? No it doesn't. It's one of the, it was one of the fastest um, ships to do the the transatlantic blue, blue ribbon ship what ship currently holds it Ah, the SS United States. Yeah, she was really fast, wasn't she? She was like 30, 35 knots, was it? Let's see, yeah. Maximum speed 30, oh, maximum speed 38 knots. And a maximum claimed speed of 43 knots, that's insane. She had 180,000 kilowatts. That's pretty amazing imagine doing 43 knots on a big ocean liner that would be i feel like that'd be kind of scary at the same time as being really really cool so what was it going to do here this no not that and uh, we need one of these What would it do if it brought 2 by 4 all the way up like that? Or 2 by 2 even? Mm. It's alright, I suppose, actually. after that oh that's gonna be damn it uh should have thought about that actually need to make this a nice even finish And 
we bring that kind of shape down? Or is that too harsh of a kind of angle to go in at? Right, or whatever. Um, if this, something like that, is that going to be too steep? I'll give one of these a try, and then. So I don't really want it to be that there's going to be like big jumps in the shape of the hole. So we want it to be as smooth yet as sort of accurate to that shape as possible. That might be difficult. Hmm. We should curve this bit in first, and then we can kind of work off that shape instead of the other way around. of these instead of rows of the four by four ones. Possibly. And then from there, what do we do from there? We do so we need to get the edges in. That's already quite close there actually. So we'll do the four, the one by four. See how close in that gets us, because a portion of this does kind of need to be just a straight edge on it, and then that's kind of the base of the hole we can call it. Uh, where will that lead down to? Is that the innermost? No, it's not. See if I lined that up there and got a one of these. And then brought that down with that line. Oh it's the wrong height again. Everything's always the wrong height. If we do another level on top of that then. In the right place. Is that? Nope, that's one block too far back. Damn. Uh, right. That is brought in like that. And then we use. No, hang on. We'll curve it downwards, and then that will mean we can use a bit more what we have rather than having to build up another layer. So we curve that one down and then on the other side of it we curve this one down. There we go. 
And then instead of it being these at the bottom, we have a layer of the two by two ones. Right, how does that line up? Not very well. So if we do that then as the start of our kind of flat curve, maybe that'll solve that issue. Yes, that's better. that look at the very very front then uh, looks all right I suppose not the best in the world but not the worst either so kind of in the middle um, let's just have a few look at the pictures let's see if there's anything else I could do to make it a bit better looking If we do what else what else can we do i'm sort of tempted to just cut out that bit there hello can we join your server i'm not on a server because i'm just building at the moment um but if you ever see hopefully i'm going to be doing more multiplayer events in like the next few weeks hopefully so you might be able to join them rid of all these because we don't want to double up blocks it's not as bad as career mode where you have to pay for them all but it just means you're heavier at the front than you need to be which isn't really good for if you're trying to perfect your speed and all that kind of stuff Please type in chat the seed. Uh, what do you mean, like the, the the world seed? It's just two seven three eight four, but it's just um. I was thinking about it's actually a pretty good seed, I'll admit. Um, yeah, that's creative. So two. Seven, three, eight, four. But it's not multiplayer, though, so. That actually looks a lot better than the way it was a minute ago.
get rid of that and then we'll work the shape of this part back and then kind of merge them in the middle hopefully so like that kind of if we do minus these a one block kind of gap maybe Oh, it's the wrong, wrong shape. Hmm. Okay, I'll not worry about that for now. Do the lamp and I reckon if we did that all the way back with them different sort of gaps in between, it might look good. I like the good as this will probably look nothing like the QE2s by, but that's just Stormworks I suppose. Oh yes, perfect. That's good. But that might have ended up as one of them ones that is like half or two blocks too big. You can only get half of the half the thing into it. Let's get that along there. So, why is that looking? So we'll look up from the front and we can kind of judge how well it's curving out. Go over to our auxiliary window and we will see, let's, get the, yeah. By the looks of it, Q2's bow alone is probably at least half the size of our ship overall. So that's gonna be challenging. Like look at the amount of stuff it has up there. Like even the amount of space, just open space. And our ship is probably only going back to about there, if maybe not even. Because we're 60 meters? 60 or 59 meters, I think. This one is supposed to end up as. Um, it's the wrong one again.
when I finish it? Yep, I'll spawn. And we'll have a look and see how well I did. If, if I did. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I don't, it's not going to look identical. I'm more, I think, I'm going to focus more on the hull, on the superstructure. Mainly the bridge, because I really like the way the bridge is laid out on QE2. Oh, and we're on the wrong window. Let me grab it up. I really hate that. I need to remember to stop doing that. Um, yeah, I'm going to be focusing more on that than the hull, probably. But, yeah, the hull is a crucial part of anything. So, we will need to get it right to some extent. So if we see how well we can do with this. Going on too long that it won't line up with the back then. Uh, did one of them in there. Like that. Come on, there we go. What else can we do? We can do. Remember, we're going to need a buy thruster up here as well, so I wonder if I should have cut out a section for that now. Rather than building the whole hull and then realizing it won't fit. Here, maybe? Uh, see if that's blocked in like that. Bigger than it needs to be, probably, but we can kind of then shape it in the way we need it. I'll look. We ditch that floor there and that floor there just to save blocks. And then we'll lower the ceiling down by one. Is it gonna be big enough to fit? What will we use? Will we use a pod or will we use a medium propeller? I think medium propeller might be the way to go. Nothing there, maybe. Maybe even just doesn't look great. Um, get rid of that whole bit, and then put one of them in there. that's the wrong size um, if we do it then with what can we do to replace that hmm
might love that's what it is um if we move that out by one do i know who frantic is yes i do a slightly more popular youtuber than i am um yeah i know him the stream the other night it was pretty good just testing out a lot of random creations some of them pretty good uh, how do we fill that cup that's gonna be a bit of a pain uh, oh, where is that I see what it is now. Oh god, let me select. There we go. That comes across like that, and then we lower these all down completely. Maybe that will make it better. Uh, could be worse, I suppose. I'm really not sure how I'm gonna fix this. Do three along there, or one by one along there, and then that maybe. Okay, that'll have to do. Unless we do more there, but I don't know, do we need to? Uh, let's see, what propeller are we gonna use? We could use a pod, which is what I usually use, or we could use an actual full-on, full-size propeller. We're using a pod of getting rid of them and then extend this whole section out, maybe so that it's five by five. one of the things I don't like about Sunworks is that there's so many things like these propellers here that take up so much more space than they should like the hitbox around them and then you have to have this big massive propeller tunnel for a relatively small piece of gear that's not the right size okay uh Actually, could do it rather than doing it like that. Come on. They're not going to fit in beside each other, are they? No. I think we could have one, one face now and one face in the other way. Sort of beside each other. Well. Which we can do. It's just a case of whether it's worth the amount of space that I'll use. How much space does it need? So that'll be. Is that right? Yeah. So then we do like that maybe. What do we think of that? Is that good enough looking? Should give us plenty of power. 
Sorry, I hit the mic there. Um, yeah, it should give us plenty of power if we get them hooked up with um, a couple of big motors. Well, not big, but probably two medium motors. If we can fit them. Maybe that's. We not even need medium motors. Because all we're wanting to do is go from side to side here. And if we've got two of them. Then maybe that is enough rather than having uh, where are the motors. Rather than having two biggish motors for them to be tiny props. And it's not going to be a massive ship, so it shouldn't be too heavy to push around. Uh, I guess we'll see when we're. And we get to testing. Why don't we use the ones that use water, like fluid jets? Um, they're not great. Well, never tried them, but I imagine they're not great with um sort of fine kind of adjustment with these. The idea is with the electric motors and these. These here are pretty low torque, usually. Um, so the idea is that the electric motors will be able to spool up really, really quickly, just for short bursts of power. And then it'll just give you a wee push to left or right when you're coming in. I don't know that the, the jets would be... The jets could even be too powerful, actually. If you could kind of rig them up in a way that they're not going to... That they're able to spool up really quickly. And give you a blast, they might just push the boat over entirely. Because the jets now are very, very powerful after an update a few months ago. predicament um i've kind of got two different standards going on one of the f a different one at the front than i have at the back nearly um how do i deal with that okay slightly messed up here uh what to do what to do Could use a one of these, maybe. Don't know how well we can work the rest of this into it though. The rest of this here was just kind of done a bit wrong. Hmm. Sometimes it's hard to like this game with the difficulties that it often gives you. Uh, if we then do... I'd like to think that we're nearly at the point where we can spawn it in and have a look at it, but really it's not going to be anywhere close, is it? What is going on there? 
I've got a big massive gap. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've come at this the wrong way entirely, haven't I? Rather than starting from the front and working back, and then deciding to go from the back and work front, and then change it again, I should have just stayed working from the front, because that's what it ends up doing anyway. Uh, I think I might need to just scrap everything I had at the, after the bow. You don't see these kind of bloopers with Mr. N jersey now. Uh, like that. Am I making it worse? Because that would not surprise me. Oh, and then the bit at the back as well. It's not going to match up now. Okay, that was a bit of a mess, but it was kind of my fault, so we'll just sort that out as best we can. From that level then we can do these ones. Hmm. See, whatever way I do it, I need to make sure that they line up with this. So maybe if we do... Like, we need to have at least two rows of these. And then from there... Nope. Hmm. That's not even lined up. Oh, right, okay. That makes sense. Could this possibly be my most disastrous hole yet? Like that, that would be a, a pretty good achievement. There have been some fairly horrendous ones. Right, that's a bit better looking. I'm still not happy with this. I'd, I'd like. <laughs> to say it looks crap would be sort of being polite. Uh, happy enough with the actual shape of the body, like the way it kind of curves in, but apart from this bit here, that, that's. The w we just made, a, made it ruin. It's kind of ruined it. I can barely speak. Um. Yeah. That big gap now we need to deal with. So we need to redo all these because these don't line up anymore. And then we need to. Should I just get one of these in my hotbar?
looks up. No, that's not the right angle, actually. That was a waste of time. Um, so we actually need one of these. Yes, that's better. And then a few of these. And then... Lovely. Right. Now what? Okay, that bit there from the front. Oh no, not from the front. From there all the way to the part at the front. Oh no, we've got one of them bits again. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's get rid of that. And we'll move out the 1x4. By 1. Ignore that bit at the back there. That's just going to be the base of it. And then we'll do it like this. At this point, I'm happy enough to leave the hole. Once it's once it's done, we can leave it. And if I figure out a way to make it nicer, I will. But quite frankly, I've had enough. Actually, we'll bring... No, we can't bring that down because it's the wrong size again. That one there, all the way up. And... Damn it! Forgot about that bit at the back. <laughs> uh, right. How do we make that merge with the rest of it? Could end up with a kind of step in the hole here. But um, that may not be the worst thing in the world. So we'll have one of these. It's crazy that we didn't always have these um, like 1x4s and 1x2s and all. And we would just have the 1x1 the one one stuff. I didn't really realize how much you use this stuff, and then you think. We didn't actually have this, like, a year ago, maybe? I when it was that they were added. I, I, I reckon it wasn't much more than a year. Right. Okay. Fill in all these wee gaps here where there's a flat area. And then it's time to spawn her in. So we'll say that. I probably should change the name from QE2 because it looks, well, very little like QE2. I'm going to spawn it through the mission editor because why not? Well, actually, I hope it works because I was having issues with the mission editor earlier. Although, granted, that was a much bigger, more complicated ship. It's not clipping with that fence, and here we go. Yeah, it'll do. Not my best work, but it's not my worst, surprisingly. So the ship will go all the way down to here, and it'll be the height of that up there. So the tip of the funnel should be about this height. I completely missed. Get up onto this thing here if we can. There we go. Um, it'll probably be a bit further back, but yeah. Let's get ourselves a wee thumbnail. Well, thumbnail for the next one, I suppose. Let's 
sides of beauty side as opposed to be this one. Yeah, I think it is. Right. I think we can safely leave that there and call it a somewhat of a success. If you've enjoyed that and you're not already, please subscribe because I'll be doing this probably most nights now. Now that I've got something to do, I'll probably be streaming a bit a lot more. And yeah, you can see this kind of grow from whatever this is to a nice ship, hopefully. Um, also, somewhere linked on the banner, will there's the um, Instagram, which I'm going to use to post um, updates of this. So anything I do off camera, I'll post on Instagram. And then also I'll start telling on there when I'm going to go live. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. And yeah, if you enjoyed.